Hello everybody, I wanted to do a little video here on how to heat shrink and butt splice wires the correct way. So, I'll try to move the camera here where you can see a little bit better. But, as you can see I got two wires here. Got a little bit of glare on the camera it looks like. Hopefully you guys will be able to see this okay, but... Anyway, we got two wires here. I need to hook them together. And what you'll do is take one of these. They're called a butt splice, actually. Yeah, what a name, but that's what they're called. What you'll want to do is take your wire and you'll want to strip it back about half of what this is. And I've already pre skint the wires, so. But there's different wire cutters and strippers and crimpers. This is all cheap set I got. But this here part, you'll strip your wire with that part. You'll crimp with this down here where the little yellow, blue, and red dots are. It's right there. What you'll want to do first is stick this here up into that until it butts up against the inside there. And since I'm using this here blue one, which is the wire size that I'm using, which is a 16 to 14 gauge, it shows them right here. You'll want to take and position it where it's right at the end there. Crimp it so the wire don't pull out. Always check them. And on this side, most time when you're doing these, you ain't going to have the wire so you can slide on from the other end. So you always want to take a piece of heat shrink tubing. Which you can pick that up at just about any automotive parts store. Harbor Freight. This is where I got this pack out for a dollar, I think. But you'll want to cut a piece, probably about twice as long as what you're splicing here. That way, it covers it good. Stick out over your wire. And same thing on this end as we did the other one. Twist it in there until it's butted up good inside there. Take your crimpers, get it where it's right towards the end of the metal part there on it. Crimp it good, check it, make sure they don't pull apart. And you'll take your heat shrink tubing, slide it up over it, try to center it so you're kind of in the middle here. Because when you shrink this, it'll shrink both ways, this way and that way. So You can do this several different ways. I use a lighter most of the time. You can use a heat gun. A little mini torch like. Just using a lighter, you don't want to hold it still in one spot because you'll burn the tubing off. But taking, start moving it around. As you can see, it's starting to shrink there. And as you can see, 
it shrunk really tight up against that. Now you got your great cell wire that'll last a long time there. Much better than just twisting them together and taping them. So I hope this helps you out. I'll be doing some more videos on how to do wires, on how to solder them and everything else. So watch my videos, subscribe, like, comment down below and have a great week everybody. Bye.